Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new addition to this polymer clay time-lapse sculpting demonstration where I'm making an elephant. This is part six to a series and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I build out on the legs a little bit. You know from start to finish and you can follow along. I'm going to be using these little tiny snakes that I rolled out. They're all different thicknesses. This one's really skinny. I, I just wanted to roll me out some snakes to kind of increase workflow to build these legs, build out on them and make them look more realistic or you know like the original that I'm going by. Okay starting things off here I grabbed one of the larger snakes that I had rolled out and I'm adding it to the back side of this elephant's arm his front leg. That was another snake that I pinched along the length of it, you know, one side of it, tapering it. I put the tapered side facing up and the thick part facing down. That gave me the flare. See right here? I added some to the right. I already figured out a way to explain what I'm doing here. Think of a silhouette. A silhouette is an image usually a black image of an object and it doesn't give you any definition of that object it just shows you the the outline of it so if I were to have a silhouette image of a person maybe pointing their arm out in front of them you wouldn't see their arm you'd only see the the outline the outline of that person what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make the silhouette of this sculpture appear correct from at least two different angles this angle and the front angle. Technically speaking, if if a sculpture looks correct from all angles, then it is logically correct. That's just that's just how my mind works. So I'm just adding the clay to the back side of this arm and the front side of this arm or leg and um to make it you know to give it the definition that I'm wanting in two different angles. So when I come back and I, you know, fill everything in and smooth everything up, it looks like a, um, it has more, you know, characteristics. And it's following the, the guide, the, the sculpture that I'm going by, it's following it more accurately. It's, it's pretty simple. This looks kind of hefty, this leg. I, I might shave back a little bit on some of these. I'm not sure. But you see, I just cut away a little bit. There's really no other way for me to explain that. And half the battle on making these videos is explaining these things that I'm doing. Because I make it up as I go. So I have to make up the explanation too. And sometimes that's difficult because I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyhow, I'm starting another leg, the back leg, and I'm doing it much in the same way. I wanted to bring the knee out a little bit further. And I did that by adding that tiny snake. Squishing the end of another tiny snake and you know fixing his foot up that's just to get it started it, some of these feet these feet will be reshaped a little bit they don't actually look like that but the actual clay that needs to be there is there now so that's all that matters to me for those of you tuning in for the first time this is this type of clay is polymer clay it's an oven baked clay that stays soft forever until you bake it and then once you bake it, it's permanently hard. Uh, it's an uh, oil-based clay, so it's, there's no water in it. I think the shrinkage is less than 1%. So that allows you to, you can even wrap this around glass, like vases and stuff like that. Um, it's a, a really good clay, in my opinion, because it will wait for you. I, I sometimes leave these projects uncovered on my desk for months and the worst that happens is there's dust and cat hairs and I just you know blow it off or whatever continuing on with another leg here adding on more girth to it up at the top and making a foot for him elephant feet elephant feet I'm making elephant feet You know, one thing I did notice about this, kind of looking at it, looking at it, I think this is going to turn out to be a great elephant. I, I really do. 
but I'm already noticing a, a slight flaw in my calculations. The midsection of this guy is too narrow. He's like the opposite of a wiener dog. He needs to be more wider, or not wider, longer. He needs to be more longer in the midsection. Because just comparing them both, it just, I don't know, maybe it won't look so bad or I can tweak it or something in some way and it won't be such a big deal. It's still going to look like an elephant. Maybe it'll look like a ba baby elephant then. Or like a a stubby elephant. Why not? Oh, I have some pretty good news. I upgraded my computer a little bit. So it now allows me to play these movies in my editing program at least at regular speed, you know, times one. Because before I was having to step the movie forward at half the speed, which is the equivalent of driving half the speed limit wherever you go. It would be horrible. Um, it made me hate editing, so I just, we got a new computer. It's still a temporary computer. I, I need a workstation. But with, with, um, more responsiveness to that, I, I'll be doing more videos. Because at the end of the day, you have to like what you're doing. If, if you don't like it, it's, it causes problems. You wind up not doing it. So, um, better computer means easier editing means more videos and if you haven't noticed even before that they're they're kind of getting a little closer together I'm trying to get them to where they're not two months apart I really apro I really apologize about that there is so much you know time lost but we really can't really focus on that I have to just look at you know the future I'm going to just start making more videos you check out that back hill or that back foot I I tilted it a little bit I put that last little snake on there at an angle it almost looks like muscle cords how I put all them snakes on there that's not exactly what I'm doing just just to be clear I'm not trying to build like the anatomy first and then uh, you know the rest after I'm just trying to put the clay where it needs to be. I want I don't want it to where there's no negative areas where I need to add clay. If anything, I should have to just scrape clay away or remove it or whatever. Like I'm doing right there, just kind of drawing it back in a little bit because it was just too thick. And this did make some big messes underneath on the back side of all of the legs which I show you here soon uh, how I clean clean one of them up like you see that front leg right there the front left leg how messy that is because I was just building onto it from just two different angles and it left it left that but that's that's good I mean I can I can figure out what needs to be done after that I can just flow it you know what I mean I'll add clay in the big void areas and whatnot. Trying to clean up around that foot. That padding that I have it sitting on, which is the same type of clay, I'll, I'll probably remove that here soon. That was just to keep it from sliding around. It's not going to slide around anymore. Here's a cool scene. With the help of a flashlight, I, I have the camera in there and I'm showing you how I clean up the worst leg. I think it's the one you was just looking at. And I have to admit, some of the things I was doing was not how I would have done it. The camera was literally right in the way. But I wanted to show you how I was going to clean it up or whatever. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to show you at least one of the legs. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'm going to be making the tusks and the, the snout in the mouth and I'm ordering epoxy sculp and I'll be using it for the first time finally I'll be using this stuff I've been it's been I've been long overdue use you know trying this stuff out but uh, I'll be showing you how I make the tusks and stuff 
much in the same way I did with the snake videos, you know, the teeth and the tongue and stuff like that. It, I'll show you again. Uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to hearing from all of you. Thank you for, you know, taking the time to watch this. And until next time, I'll see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching.